The purpose of this buttons model is to demonstrate what complexity scientist Stuart Kaufman calls random graphs. The large window at the bottom of the screen shows a button collector's lifetime accumulation of exotic buttons. The invisible hand in this exercise is a particularly eccentric button collector with quite a bit of time on her hands. She scatters her entire collection of buttons on her hardwood floor and then begins picking up pairs of buttons and linking them together with thread. The question is, if she chooses each pair of buttons randomly, how long will it take before there is a sizable network of threaded buttons? The large window on the bottom of the screen shows the scattered buttons as they are slowly connected by thread pair by pair. The top left window shows the largest cluster of connected buttons at any given point in time. Finally, the top right window contains a running tally of the number of pairs in the largest connected cluster on the left and the total number of pairs of connected buttons on the right. The graph in this window shows the total number of pairs of connected buttons on the x-axis, plotted against the number of pairs in the largest connected cluster. You'll notice that the size of the largest connected button cluster jumps when the 26th button-to-button -button link is made. In fact, it doubles from 10 to 20. When the 28th button-to-button -button link is made, the size of the cluster increases to 24. Suddenly, all but four of the previously linked button pairs become connected. This leap in the number of connected buttons is what complexity scientists call a phase transition. By running these simulations over and over, complexity scientists have determined that you can expect a quantum leap in the number of connections after the ratio of threads to buttons passes the 0.5 mark. In At Home in the Universe, Kaufman says that he believes that this quantum leap demonstrated by the buttons, quote, is a toy version of the phase transition that I believe led to the origin of life, unquote.